Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Smile, welcome back to Let's Play Crooked Man. Now let me clip my mute button, whatchamacallit, onto my shirt. I should have done this before I started the video, but fuck it, I don't care. Okay, so, uh, it's been a day since I recorded the last three, even though I'll probably see it like a week afterwards, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Theory of relativity, fuck it, I don't care. Um, uh, well, oh, gotta click off the screen. Damn it. I didn't even click it though. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. Okay, so, um... What were we doing last time? Right, okay, so yeah, we came up here, Sissy fell through the floor, and... Oh no, she didn't fall through the floor, I caught her. Well, what does that do? I don't know, let's find out. Um, hold on, guys. Okay... Can I go back in the basement? Is that a good idea? Probably not, but I'll try it anyway. The basement door's up! That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Mr. David, that's not a good sign. Lighter. I can see clearly now that the darkness is gone. I can see all the ooh, a shiny thing in my way. Something here. A bronze key. Hmm, but don't I already have one of those? No, it's a brass key. Well, ain't that a coinky dink? I applaud your effort, sir. Coming in this wash basin. Or wash basin. In this rubbish bin. Okay, now that's not good. So I have to go through every goddamn door. I'm actually feeling really good because I don't have a headache anymore. Because, well, last time I recorded, I have like a splitting, agonizing, unacceptably bad headache. Also, guys, I figured out how to add, like, numbers and pictures and stuff to my, like, thumbnails. Like, you notice some of my thumbnails fall and it makes I use the same thumbnail. Now, it's kind of hard to just look at it and tell what it is, because you have to read the actual title. Well, I actually figured out how I, like, insert, like, numbers and stuff. So that's, that's, yeah, you don't give a fuck about that. But guess what? I do, so there you go. Is the bar unlocked, or did it have, like, ooh. Let's get drunk. Ooh, a book. Wait, can I drink this? Oh, I can't. I didn't read that. You, you had to read that. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Bring out... <coughs> Being out of a job is no good. But at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Haha, uh -huh, I'm so smarter than you. Ha ha ha. I just went like French just then. Installing weird stuff for our basement door, all having a number lock on the food storage, all his silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was the thing with a book, which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as, not, but sure as in hell, not us. Ah, oh, whatever, once we're done with this booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door of the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty crazy. Why wouldn't you steal food? A few wine bottles, they seem to be full. Randy, it's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. That's not good. <laughs> That's something to be concerned about. Whoa, what the hell? What, was that it? Ooh, a cup. A glass. Empty beer bottles. Empty beer bottles. <coughs> Empty beer bottles. Oh, and guys, guess what? Guess what these are? Empty fucking beer bottles. Well, what do I do about that? Wine casks, wine casks, wine casks, wine casks, wine casks, and guess the fuck what? Wine casks. Hold on a second, guys. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked man. He found a crooked ass, and he found a crooked stuff. He caught a crooked cat, which caught a crooked... No, he, no, did he buy the crooked cat, or did he catch the crooked cat? Hold on a second, guys. Okay, whatever. I definitely didn't just look up a tutorial. Definitely not. Definitely did not just look up a tutorial. Yeah, what's this? What level was the library on? I mean, um, I feel like I should go to the library for some reason. I don't know. I definitely didn't look up a tutorial for it. I don't know. I just kind of have a feeling I should go to the library. I definitely looked up a tutorial because I'm so lying. 
I don't like liars, actually. I hate liars. As I've said many times, I don't like liars. Oh, that's the room when all hell hit the ceiling. Or whatever, I don't care. Here's the library. Okay. Um, hmm, I wonder what's over here. I mean, no, I wonder what's over here. A blackboard in the owner's room said, The strange case of Bucket Dracula, Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Ha, huh, here we go. Mr. Utterson, the man of... What? Um, I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not looking up a tutorial right now, guys. Okay, I was just closing the door, actually. I actually didn't just look up a tutorial, guys. I was, uh, closing it. I'm actually not lying this time. I'm being serious. Okay, do I have to read this? Do I actually... Okay, just pause it if you want to read it, guys. Actually, I would actually highly recommend... Wait a minute. No, wait. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 4. What the hell? What happened to 6 and 7? Is that it? Mm, that's it, actually. Now, guys, I didn't look up a uh, tutorial. I swear to God, I did. Oh, what the f Oh, that's not good. Oh. Deary. How oh, about you go fuck yourself? Um, can I move? Nine, 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 nine. Nope, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, big boy? Can't say. Oh shit. Well, what do I do? Ooh, can I push him in the hole? Is that something I can do? Oh shit! I'm scoped. Aha! If I drop him down here. Oh my god! I'm a badass. Holy shit! What is that monster? What is what is all? Um, damn, I can't believe such a thing exists. What's this monster here? I knew it would be ended for. I just started reading them. I'm sorry, I was just zoomed out. <clears throat> I didn't look up the tutorial. All it said was something about, um... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm burping in the microphone, damn it. Something about, um, missing chapters. So, yeah. I'm turning off the tutorial. It's off. Not gonna mess with it again. Okay. So, it was three... Six, seven, nine. Okay. I know what that goes to. <laughs> bloop. Bloopity bloopity bloop. Bloopity 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 bloop. Wait, what? No, it's that's right. Three? No, it was three, six, seven, nine. My bad. Aha! That was actually a really bad puzzle. So, yeah, I kind of would have looked that up anyway, because... It's out of reach. Oh, this big old knife. Can I get that? That's not a small for knife. It's fucking huge. What are you talking about? That's massive. Okay, well, what do I do about that? Can I push something? Push this cabinet? Can I get this pot? Can I flood the room? Oh, a ladder. You could use that to get up to that thing. <clears throat> what is it? The key to two to- oh, I know where that is. Excuse me for a second, guys. <coughs> I'm so sorry, it's- it's a- f it's a flu season, so. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, la 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 la.
Wait, what, what, what room is this? Yeah, 210. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> I was like, I saw him, I was like, nine, 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 nine. <coughs> Stop coughing, you ignorant bastard. <coughs> Damn it. Looks like someone was badly burnt. Like a crooked man. Oh. Was this a photo? Looks like it was a woman. Hmm, there's something under the pieces. A key? Oh, a scrap from a notebook. What's that say? I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back, so I have to forget everything, good and bad. Aww. What? Twat? Um, okay. Woo, it settled down. <coughs> She's from exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Well, it's like a nap in one of this bed. Or one of the beds up there. So I want this photo to claim his broken heart. How does that work? I, I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. <laughs> you pansy. You're a pansy. <coughs> so say, oh, there you are. Oh, there you are, David. Oh, there you I'm gonna do, like, a really heavy, stereotypical British accent for her. Did you find the box? No, I, no, I can't find it. They're, I'm, I'm not trying to insult any, any English people out there. I'm being like the stereotypical accent. There are lots of rooms I can't go in, so it might be in one of those. What's, what's wrong, David? You're kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But well, sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You might not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. <laughs> Do you know how fucking retarded you sound right now? <laughs> You're just like, oh yeah, I see a monster. Yeah, definitely believe me. <clears throat> I'm not lying or anything. I was attacked by it earlier. You're def you'd definitely be in danger, too. So I think you should go. <coughs> Look, I don't like the dark, scary places, either. But there's no need to tase me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Kind of something like an Australian accent. Er, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling you the truth. Ye don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. Um, pretty sure I didn't. You could be success. Success. Whatever that word is to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, we'll go looking elsewhere. Well, bye, daisies. Captain. <coughs> Looks like the bathroom. Well, if I'm so sleepy, can I, like, go in the bed or something? Is that a thing I can do? Nope. I was gonna be able to. This chair looks interesting. The clock is stopped. What time is it? Actually, no, the clock wouldn't be able to tell. What time is it in my room? I don't know. What time did I start? It was 47. Okay, I understand. <coughs> what? Saving. Um, a message of Reb. Was this here before? Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for. Oh, that's not good. What's you? What do you want me to leave you alone, or do you want me to come to you? I can't tell. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Nine. Oh God. Why? I dropped you down a pit. God, we gotta do something. Uh, oh god, oh, nine, 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 well, that's not doesn't doesn't do me a lot of good. What was I supposed to do? Wait a minute, I have an idea. A few wine bottles that seem to be full. Oh, and I might get fire. Can I like make him drink it or something? Is that a thing I can do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so scary! Yeah. Roar! Roar! 
Oh god, I pissed myself. Ah. Why? I dropped you down a pit. Crap, I gotta do something. Like, do's a bottle. Damn it, this monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? Bitch. What did I do? Cracked it over his head? Well, that doesn't do me a lot of good, now does it? Okay, can I, like, dump another one on his head or something? How about some of this? Okay, so I guess that's... Oh god, the music stopped. Wait, what do I do about this? What, what do I do? I need to brainstorm for a second here, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I may have an idea. I don't know. Oh god, I didn't mean to start. No. No, god, no. I didn't mean to... Oh god. Yeah, I know it contains harsh images. Damn it. Yeah, I know he was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile and he found a crooked stick into one of a fucking crooked style. And he called a crooked... Okay, you know what? Just fuck it. Be right back, guys. Actually, no, I'll just do this. Damn it. I know. Go away. Yeah, I know. I know, you pathetic bitch. Can I quit the... G ah, no, okay, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I can push the escape key and go faster. Yeah, 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 walk faster. I know this already! Go away! Thank you! Turn to title. My god. Let's not push start again. Do it assume it would take you to the. You know, fuck it. Don't worry about it. Okay! Now, if I haven't. I... Did I lose my train of thought? No, I didn't. I'm fine. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I have an idea, guys. Oh, and I just realized, and I just found out when I was doing that, if I push escape, I can, uh, go through text faster. Leave me alone, please leave me alone, come to me, I'm waiting for you. Oh, no! I shat myself. Okay, so I do this. I don't know if this will work, I think it will work. Alright, uh, god, excuse me, damn it! Okay, um... Aha, now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be plenty flammable. I actually got this idea from a Jeff the Killer. <laughs> okay, that worked. The hell is the thing? What's it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now, where can I look? Hmm, how about that giant ass knife you found earlier? Wait, is there actually an option? Can I go do that? Let's find out. I actually got that idea from a Jeff, from Jeff the Killer. Because <laughs> that's actually what happened to him. That's why he got all burned up and shit. Because they, um, set him on fire. Where did I find that giant ass? Was it in 210? Maybe. I'll go find out. Wait, no. 210... No, it's not 210, was it? 210 was the, uh... It was in the food storage place. For those of you who have never heard of Jeff the Killer, it's a very good creepypasta. I recommend it to anyone. It's a little bit overrated. Actually, it's extremely overrated. And Fangirls have, like, ruined it. But the original pasta is very good. I recommend it to anyone. And I'm going to play a simple game inspired by him. By that whole pasta. So, yeah. There you go. It's called Jeff the Killer. I would highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys some scary stories that are slightly, extremely fucked up. So yeah, there you go. Now, was it down? Yeah, it was down here. Can I get the big old knife down here? It's not even a little knife at all. Can I get this? <gasps> hmm, well ain't that a coinky dink? A fruit knife. Maybe I should take this just for self-defense. That might not be a bad idea. Or you could have been a smart and, like, not have the took it or, I mean... You or you could have been smart and taken it before. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I can't walk into it. It's like solid. <laughs> oh, lordy loo. What 
follow the blood. Wait, no, I didn't have to go up the stairs. Up the stairs and down the stairs in his nightgown. Walking through the windows, crying through the lock. Are the children in their beds? Cause now it's eight o'clock. Oh god, sissy. Oh god, are you okay? Sissy, what are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Where are you, where, where, where are you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot. It's bleeding a lot, dude. It's like everywhere. And even resting here, right? What if you have anemia? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Dot, 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 dot. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I'll at least try to wrap it up. He's kind of cute. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. David's a pretty hot guy, I guess. You don't seem so well. Does something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly by allowing yourself to stay in this horrible Bates Motel. It's basically a Bates Motel, actually, because, you know, think about it. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, and all to find some measly box. Measly, but it's important, right? I'm, into, I'm, I'm a memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex to be exact. Oh, is it going to be like some kind of romance thing going on here? Is that, is that a thing? Huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. Oh, oh my god, is that the guy who keeps like even on the... Oh my god. Wait, so was the guy who used to live in his house her boyfriend? Oh my god, it's all going together now. Mind fuck here, oh my god. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, oh, I'm just overloaded with thought process now. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up here. Just come look. Did I just spill my tea? No, I didn't. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was <laughs> it was no good. Come back here. Coming here brought back all those memories. That's not good. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he 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 said he appreciated my kindness, but we broke up. He said it was all I had. Oh, that's horrible. Your kindness is all you have going for you. That's like the dickish thing to say. Oh my god. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hit a girl like me. Sorry, I know. I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little while longer. I'm just a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Is it a key? I found a key to somewhere. Well, that doesn't really help me, does it? Oh god, I'm gonna have to go check every single door. Thanks, don't train yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Well, bye daisies Wait, can I go now? Okay, I can. That was depressing. Oh, God. <laughs> I need to make a montage of me checking every single... Oh, God, I can't move. Why are you always like this, David? Hmm? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Who are you talking to, David? <laughs> Just go along with the flow. Don't you have a personality? Oh, is this like a flashback or a thought or something? I don't mean to... I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Uh, yeah, I think it's a flashback. You're not kind, you're just indecisive. I don't know what that means, but I will look it up later. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you just apologize and everything will be fine. Well, you know, you should stop being a bitch about it. In all honesty, if a guy says he's sorry, he's probably dead. Sorry, so you got I mean, if he's been, like, abusing you or some shit and he says he's sorry, yeah, he's full of crap, but... Some guy's just being nice and you get pissy at him for it. Well, goddamn. That's why men aren't like that. That's why I like men. There you go again, thinking you just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. I kind of comprehend the fact that you're being a bitch. The, then, then what should I do? You don't trust. You just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. Oh, oh no. What, Shirley? Hmm, maybe. I hate it. I... I slow down. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for both of us to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Well, you're a little bitch. Did you know that? Well, wait. We can talk this out. Shirley. Yep, it was Shirley. Knew it. 
Aww. Highness is all you have. She's sitting under the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way, too. Well, you know what I feel? I feel like I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna go get something. Actually, I'm not gonna go get something. I'm gonna lean for... Oh, God. I spilt it. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, this is something I've actually really noticed. Even notice how, like, in those pixelated horror games like, um, Seven Days, or in games like this, horror games, they sacrifice awesome graphics and stuff for just amazing gameplay and, like, stories and stuff. I've noticed a lot of these RPG horror games are kind of, like, story-driven. Games like Seven Days, or, if for those of you who've played it, uh, I'm Scared, which actually wasn't a, uh, I haven't played that yet, I might do it. But I've already played it, so I don't know if I kind of want to replay something. Um, but anyways, uh, they sacrifice their awesome graphics of, like, other games. See, I've actually seen a lot of games, like, okay, like, Call of Duty, I'm gonna insult, like, a million fanboys right now, but you can come at me. Unsubscribe to me, I don't care, okay? If two or three people subscribe to me for making fun of Call of Duty fanboys, go right ahead. But, um, they sacrifice, they have awesome graphics, but they have just shitty gameplay. Or, I mean, there's only a few games I've ever seen that had awesome graphics and cool gameplay. One of those was Assassin's Creed, the other was, like, Hitman. Uh, Splinter Cell was awesome. Um, what else? Grand Theft Auto was awesome. Uh, yeah, games like that. They, uh, there's only a few of them out there. You know, a lot of games have awesome, like, awesome graphics, but just shitty gameplay. And that's what I love about games like I'm Scared, or... I see you or Greek man, because, you know, they just, yeah, it's hard to explain, but, yeah, they do. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, so now I'm going to stop being philosophical. Yes, I said it. Philosophical. And am I recording this for 40 minutes or 30 minutes? I can't tell. Lost track of the time. Can I play this piano? No, I can't. Okay, guys, prepare to watch me open up 50 doors. I'm gonna do like a montage with music of me just opening doors. To the theme of like Cotton Eye Joe or something, I don't know. Cotton Eye Joe, <laughs> we don't know. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you run to? Cotton Eye Joe. Nine, 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 nine. That means no in German speak. Germany. I like Germany. Germany's a nice place. Except for the whole Holocaust aspect of it. But I don't hold anything against the Germans for that. Can I leave, please? Oh, wait, what did that say? Oh god, I can't. Oh god, I can't move. Okay, no, I can't. I'll look around here a little more. That's a bad idea. The second I saw the crooked man, if I was this guy, I'd be like, yeah, no. How about you don't? Okay, well, this is the only door I can... Well, I think I've been through every door. Okay, let's think. Where have I been to recently that had, like, something significant in it? Or anything? Ooh! I actually didn't think about that. Oh, it's so pretty! Yay! What is this? What is this? Something's in the fountain. <gasps> Would that happen to be your box, Mrs. Sissy? Ah, a box. Maybe this is the skip that, whatever. It must be it's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it in away here, or what? Man, I'm glad I found this. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. And something bad happens, right? Nope. Oh, the blood's gone, which is mildly concerning. If it's the janitor or something, I don't know. There might be some, like, crooked janitor. <laughs> that would be awesome, a crooked janitor. That's not good. This is a leaf, but she's wounded. You make it sound like she got shot in the leg or something, dude. She just, like, cut herself. I can't move. <coughs> That's not good. Oh, no! We gotta go find out what happened to her <gasps> in the next video. <gasps> okay, yeah, so I'm out of time, guys. Um, so if you like it to see guys, please like and subscribe, because I'm cutting into here. My name is Mr. Smile, and we'll find out what happened to Sissy in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, wait, I need to cut it, don't I? Wow, I'm a dumbass.